Okay, so this is just a basic tutorial on how to use stream elements and to actually get alerts by making your own custom overlay. So what you want to do is head over to streamelements.com, click my dashboard, connect your YouTube, Twitch, whatever you're using, and then go to my overlays, create blank overlay, name it whatever. Once you do that, you go down to the pencil, which is the editor. And you're actually going to want to scroll down to stream alerts and click add alert box. Now you can resize it to whatever size you want. It really doesn't matter. And from here, you just click the big square, go over to the gear bar for say you want to do a follow alert. and if you don't want to use this generic with nine times out of ten, you're not going to want to use this generic alert. You're going to want to click the X, clear sound, change video, and then you're going to want to upload a sound. You're going to have to either get a YouTube download or say you have your own custom clip on your PC. Once you find the video you want, you actually want to just click submit. Now. From here, you want to, for example, go to your, and scroll down, and you can do the alert for how long it's actually going to show up on the screen. I'm just going to leave it for 10 for this example. Yo, Duke, we got the file. Yo. What's up? Now, as you see, it's a little longer than it's supposed to be, so I can, I'm just going to cut it down to 7 seconds. You can always test it by just going to this bell, going to test, for example, follower event. And yeah, you can do many other things like uh, you can go to test text settings and you can put in your own custom text. You can put in the certain size that comes up. Like, for example, if my name is Garfield, they'll say Garfield is now following. You can change the text. You can do a bunch of different things, even the colors. You can also do this nice animation like for example you can go for example we're gonna do wobble watch the text as i test alert as you saw it was very you know wobbly now you can also go uh a highlight you can also screw with the margins and all that but i don't really know what i'm doing with all that there's a lot of settings that you can just go into and mess with and really just personalize your stream. There's one thing you can also do though, add a variation. What that is basically doing is, um, say you don't always want your stream follow to be the scream was up thing. Maybe you want to spice it up and have some fun. So what you do is you just click X, change video, you upload the video, for example, I'm just going to use Kazoo Kid. Because why not? Now, you can put this the amount of times it's actually going to come up, like the chance. It wouldn't really make sense to do it 100% of the time because then it's always going to be the Kazoo Kid. So, you can do 50%. You can name the variation. I'm just going to leave it generic. What this does is, by the way, the layout is like, for example, I'll show you in a second, actually. So, now let's test the. Gonna be friends. Yeah, see, and you can do, you can mess with all the settings and whatnot. But for example, the layout, you can click uh, ah, yo, see what you like the best. I don't like row. Yo, what's up? I don't like row. It looks very disgusting in my opinion. Do over text over image. Ah, yo, Duke, we got the file. It's a little messed up, as you can tell. Yo, what's up? So I just save column. Column is very simple, very easy. Um, yeah, you're actually gonna want to um, you're actually gonna want to, for example, just click save. Just make sure when you're making changes, just always click save in between. But once you're done 
and you actually have all of them set up like for example your follow alert all this sub tip fear host raid whatever after you get that figured out and you have everything ready to set up click save click launch and you're going to want to copy the clipboard this little button and you're going to have to go back into obs add a browser source name it whatever name it overlay you hover over the url or you can just backspace it delete it and just press Control v and what that does is it actually just paste the link that you copied now you're going to want to um put the width as 1920 the height 1080 and press ok now you're going to want to resize it down a little bit because for some reason they suggest that you just put it that size so i do it and i just resize it myself as you see now to make sure it's actually working you go back do the overlay and you just test it now from here you're actually going to be able to see how big it is and if you want to actually resize it this is where you can now once you make um a change like say you want to change a follow alert and you you just all you have to do is click save and then you can test it and then it's actually you're not gonna have to redo all those steps it's gonna automatically go into the link so you can test it one more time see it's way up here on the screen now okay so that's basically how to set up a custom overlay alerts so you can actually personalize and actually upload your own videos for alerts when people follow sub and whatnot if you enjoyed the video like and subscribe thank you so much